Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Rapido Trains Canadian National GMD 1 series locomotive. Uh, another nice True North locomotive uh, box from Rapido here. Now, the price you're most likely to pay in the US, I believe, is in the mid 200s. Um, there's some MSRP differences between Canadian and US, and in previous reviews, I've caused a lot of confusion, so I'll just say what you're going to pay most likely versus what the MSRP is. Let's take a look at what you get though in this locomotive uh, from Rapido starting now. Alright, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. GMD1 manual, very very robust here. You've got a English side and a French side. So all sorts of information, functions, etc. You get to the halfway point. It's 18 pages by the way in terms of manual. It wouldn't be fair to say the whole thing is 36 pages unless you're bilingual and you want to read both sides. The White River Productions manual, or I'm sorry, uh, pamphlet is in here. They're responsible for all those magazines. You've got the exploded parts diagram in case anything goes wrong and you, you can actually identify the widget to order it. You've got number boards, or I'm sorry, decals for number boards and lettering. And the star of the show, oh wait, we're still not done. It was like a psych by Rapido there. Short hood operation in DC it talks about this a little more if you want to read the details. Go ahead and pause the video, especially on 1080p. It'll tell you more about it. Let's look at the packaging. Got some accessories here. like CN on there. Looks like re-railers, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Usually I do a little more homework, a uh, very busy week at work, so not a lot of homework this time to do behind the scenes, going into the reviews. I know what some of you are thinking, holy crap, you do homework and you still miss half the stuff. All right, well, anyway, there's the locomotive. Let's take a closer look. All right, let's take a look at this beauty from the front here. This is oriented to actually be operating in this direction forward. You've got metal couplers, air hoses, snow plow with hand rails on them, anti climber with the ditch lights mounted above the anti climber. I hear these ditch lights have LEDs in the ditch lights versus actually um, below them, so they should be pretty bright. Handrails are looking straight. Lift rings on the front of the nose there, number boards and headlight, LED as well. You see the cab with etched metal, windshield wipers, Sinclair antenna, the cab extensions for better crew space and visibility. We've got interior detail inside of this. This is all new tooling, different prime mover than the original GMD1 uh, from Rapido. You got the twin stacks here, you got this new panel here. Lift rings all around, they aren't smooshed or bent, they look pretty well done. You've got the horn there, radiator fans. On this end, that CN part I showed you before can go right here. It's the intake shutter, it can be open or closed. And with the CN uh, being placed on the front, that CN panel that would be closed. Ditch lights on the other end as well with operation. Safety tread on the walkways. Stanchions are pretty well executed, thin, but straight looking down at them. Again, another metal coupler, accessory hoses on that end as well. And then all the stripes along the side, cabinet, compartment detail, etc. Very nice. Repeaters always focused in on the details, but let's get to operation. All right, you guys may have noticed a part that came off when I was uh, first unboxing. That was a truck part that I had gotten my finger under slightly when I was unboxing, it popped right back in, no big deal. Right on the wheel trucks, F8 starts ESU low sound equipped locomotives.
there you have startup. We'll go ahead and look through some functions here. Zero headlights. bell sound. Two is horn. Sounds great. Curve squeal is operated when you actually hit a curve. Actually, uh, we'll skip that. Full throttle F4. Now, full throttle allows you to operate the locomotive. Basically, put the hold on it. Rev it up. Like it's starting to, you know, get the slack out of the consist, and then you let go of F4, and it starts moving, like so. Now there's a lot of other functions: F5, F6, um, Doppler horn, ditch lights is F6. These lights are very bright. I'll show you spot on the front here shortly. Um, you can start up and shut down with F8. Class lights, class lights, nine and ten if they apply. Doppler horn, eleven, twelve is switching mode. Fourteen number boards. Fifteen brake. Twenty slow spitter valve. Twenty-one fast spitter valve. Twenty-two. Sacro after shutdown and 23 brake set. Here's a quick look at the ditch lights. Really bright, nice ditch lights. White, not blue or any weird LED color. They're white, golden white. Uh, ditch lights and headlight, and they work in both directions. You'll just have to trust me on that for sake of time. Let's go ahead and move to operation and moving this thing and checking slow speed control. Right, we're going to move this at one speed step. You hear some curb squeal there. One is very smooth, two, three, four, and five. Check the opposite direction. We'll go down to one. This is on a 126 on an MRC Prodigy Elite. DCC system. One is very smooth in reverse, two, three, Four, and five. There you have it. Take a quick look at coupler height. Seems to be pretty on. You be the judge. Other side. There you have it. All right, we're going to check weight real quick. You've got just shy of a pound, 15 ounces, 425 grams, 0.425 kilograms. Do a quick pull test here. The motor's quiet, that is just the wheels on the rails. And we got 3.3, it's about 45 to 50 regular sized freight cars for this little engine that could. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this Rapido locomotive. Very nice in detail, sounds are great. The motor noise, noise is very low, so nothing really to ding it on. I think they did a great job and uh, a very nice locomotive. In the essence of trying to keep reviews and shorter, I'm gonna leave you with a very brief run by we will see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.